Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are analyzing Kiki by 6 9 featuring Fetty Wap and a Boogie. Um, so that, those are names, alright. Um, so, before I get into this, uh, I promise I'm gonna do, like, analyzing songs that are actually good. I'm not just gonna pick low-hanging fruit and just, like, pick a bunch of songs that I believe are bad and then just make funny videos about them. Like, I actually do genuinely want to make this, like, a review series and not just making fun of people. Um, but for now, let's make fun of people. <laughs> Alright, so right off the bat, this is pretty freaking hype. So, immediately, you got some fat freaking cheeks just butterflying, just clapping in the air right there. Uh, and the one guy in the middle just slapping them like freaking bongos or something from Donkey Konga or something. So, right off the bat, the you already know we're in for a good time. What? I- I'm so- I'm going to have to apologize. Um, okay, so this first, uh, lyric, I guess you could say. Honestly, it, it's pretty freaking hype. Uh, you- you got- you got the fire beat, and then you got 6 9 over here, looking like actual, literal graffiti art. There's probably not a single body part on his body that isn't covered in a tattoo. He probably has 69 drawn on his ball sack, but honestly, I'm not willing to find out. I am not going to pay for his OnlyFans if he has one. And also, I just want to say right now, uh, 6 ix voice, whenever he sings, is like nails on a chalkboard. It is just not pleasant to hear. He just sounds very angry all the time, and while I, I can understand that, and I do like that more than probably every other mumble rapper, because they just rap like... At least he it puts passion behind his music, and you can tell he's actually enjoying it. But that's the only, like fair criticism uh i really have for him like that's that's the only point i can really give to him because i mean there's a lizard in my house currently uh hold, hold on uh i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna escort the i'm gonna go on a little escort mission and there's just a lizard just chilling here so i'll be right back no! 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 What are you doing? Lizard, come down here. I swear to god, if I go back to my seat and let you go and you like Mission Impossible onto my face, uh, we're gonna have a problem. I don't want to save 15% or more. Please get down. Alright, anyways, I'm back from that jump scare. Uh, didn't manage to get him out of the house, uh, he's somewhere, god knows where. Um, anyways, let's get back to watching this. N-words want the sauce, uh, shake them off, yeah. Okay, so, so far I haven't really been, like, critiquing his music, I haven't, I haven't really been analyzing um, his lyrics, but, well, it's also very hard to understand them. Um, as for, like, Island Boys, I mean, you can tell what they were trying to say, I guess? Um, but they just couldn't get it out, they were, like, actual babies trying to say the first words. Um, you know, actually, no, I take that back, they, they were definitely worse than this, actually, way worse. Uh, but I, I have no idea what the main word he's saying here is. I think he's saying on the regular, 
but the way he says it is it's just so weird on the regular or something i don't even know i have no idea rolling in the city yeah with my brothers yeah okay interesting also i just want to say uh, I think 6 9 is the last person in the world who should have the N-word pass. I don't care if he's black. Uh, he's definitely the lightest black person I've probably ever seen. But um, that's not exactly why. I just, I think you should take the pass from him and, you know, re reduct it from him and maybe give it to me. You know, I'll put it to good use uh, and not use it in these absolutely... In these absolute deplorable music videos. I'm not a hot boy, but I'm a block boy? Okay, hold on. I'm actually legit going to pull up the lyrics real quick. Alright, so here, getting into deep lyrics here. Uh, he goes, run up here, a click clack, blow your crap back. Boy, I ain't a hot boy. I'm a block boy. Double trigger Glock. Make him diddy bop. Boy. <laughs> As we can see here, uh, 6 9 is honestly just one of the best poets out there. You know, one of, one of the greats, you know, he, he, he should really go down in history as the best poet in the world. Uh, these words, they just speak to me like no other poem could. This is something I can very much relate to. Also, I want to look at the names for a couple of his songs. Uh, and this is literally just proof that he doesn't use words. This one's called Kuda, whatever that means. This one's called Tati, whatever. And this is called Fei Fei. And this is called Bei Bei. I don't know if these are illegitimate words that are just in a different language. Um, but it, it's really coming up that way. Uh, and well, this song too is literally just called Kiki. And then you have like other big name songs like Gooba, which interesting and it's not like these are like the choruses to the song if the song was named after the chorus this song would be called on the regular but all these other songs they just they're just random words no 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 not words Le just a bunch of letters just thrown together you know like you know when you grab, uh, like, dice, a couple of dice, and just, like, roll them in your hands for, like, five hours, and then you let them out? That's basically what he did, but with words. Imagine a, like, a 26-sided dice. Instead of numbers, it was letters. And then he just, just threw them out on the table, and then that was the name of the song. That's literally every single song. Alright, so here we got our first feature uh, in this absolute fire song. Uh, honestly, this part is pretty hype. Obviously, I'm just joking. But I will say this is definitely better than 6 9 because I can definitely tell he's saying on the regular instead of just angrily shouting it, making it sound like some sort of like weird slang uh, that gangsters use. Alright, I'm going to actually take back that statement I just said because I genuinely can't understand what he's saying. It might be the autotune, the absolute heavy autotune that he's currently using, or he's just, you know, very bad at speaking English. Who knows? Maybe these guys aren't from America or any English-speaking countries at all. Yeah. 
This guy down here is honestly just busting it wide open sexual style. This guy is actually just busting a fat move right there. I have no idea what that move is considered, but honestly, I think this guy gets the badus, if you know what I'm saying. What did he just say? He said something like pulling out and shoot or something. I. I, I'm, I'm not going to claim that I have a memory of an elephant, but it also doesn't help that I can't understand exactly what they're saying verbatim. So it makes it extremely hard trying to criticize the lyrics to this song whenever there's just no lyrics. Or at least there is lyrics, but the people saying them, the, the words that are definitely there, um... It just doesn't come out correctly, you know, they're, I don't know if they're heavily mispronouncing it, or again, like, the autotune, or he's just, it's like the mellow, kind of, like, accent that gangsters tend to use, uh, also, they all tend to literally sag the, their pants down to the floor, and grab on their ball sack, and scream a bunch of cuss words and then pretend that they are hard which now that i say that out loud pulling down their pants and saying that they're hard is probably not a good string of words to throw together uh what i meant was they think they are a force to be reckoned with per se i guess Okay, well, so far, uh, I'm gonna say that verse is okay, uh, and I'm looking this from an unbiased point of view, uh, I can definitely understand exactly what he's saying, I don't like it, but I can understand what he's saying. And before I go on, my kind of rap is old school 90s rap. You know, something like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, Outkast, or Notorious B.I.G. Some musicians where they have songs where I can actually understand the lyrics. And the beats are actually, like, really good. And it isn't just, a, the songs aren't just about being big and having a bunch of hot chicks throw it back for you constantly. And having a bunch of money that you could literally just put into a pile and burn. But I know some people are probably into this music unironically, which I kind of feel bad for them. And I do think they belong in a mental institution, but that's just me. Okay, well, final verdict. Uh... If I had to put it on, like, a meter, I didn't do this for the last episode, but I might do this from now on, I would give this song a solid 3 out of 10. I know that's very generous, but that last verse there definitely did boost it a little bit, and I thought the dancing was kind of cool, uh, but that's not enough to make it a good song. Uh, if you separate the music from the music video, it would definitely be like a 1.5 out of 10. Um, so anyways, before I go, I just want to look at these last few lyrics here uh, because I just thought some of them were pretty funny. I forget up, I forget up, mm, yeah, schmegular, that's regular, mm, yeah. I hit it on the tour bus, ooh yeah. I'm a player, you a slut, oh yeah, I told my 38, I love you, that's my baby, when I pull up, she pull up too. Uh, first of all, I want to analyze this word specifically, schmegular, um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of, a uh, regular schmegular is a slang expression dismissing something or someone as being 
overly ordinary, or if you're like rapper Cardi B, the term can be used as a way of presenting yourself as just an average person. Um, sure, if you want to say that, but anyways. Alright, let's analyze more of these lyrics. A lot of bag in the duffel, yeah. Leave them wetter, let it rain, n-word. Put a 30 to your mother freaking brain, n-word. Ah, I'm running around with the same n-words. Same n-words that'll take an n-words chain, n-word, huh? So right off the bat, we just ended with, like, 50 n-words right there. Uh, I got to... If I had to say, if anybody holds the world record for most n-words ever said, it is probably 6 9 or probably some other racist incel who has sex with his cousin. But anyways, that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.